Okay, everybody, so let's continue with uh, an ion. So here we have a nitrate ion, NO3 minus. First of all, we need to recognize that there is a negative charge right there. This negative charge means that we have to add in one extra electron to the most electronegative atom or element here. So if you look at nitrogen and oxygen, oxygen is nearer to fluorine, so it is more electronegative. We should add the one extra electron to oxygen. Okay, so by default, oxygen has six electron, nitrogen has five electron. So one of the three oxygen, right, will have seven electron. All right, so let's just uh, put in the atoms. Okay, so we'll start off with the central atom N. Okay, least electronegative plus it will form the most bonds. Okay, so we'll have oxygen all around it. One, two, three, right? All around it. And then you have uh, oxygen. Oxygen have six electron, right? So we'll just put in the six electron. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So hopefully you can see all the dots and crosses. And for nitrogen, we will just put in the five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you can see that we are short of one to pair up with the last oxygen, right? So in fact, we can let this oxygen, right, have the extra electron, okay? So we'll just put in a extra electron for oxygen. So we'll put it in somewhere here. Okay, you can redraw it, shift the lone pair like further away. That's also fine. I just chose to add it in so that it's clearer. Okay, so this oxygen has reached octet configuration. It is very happy. Um, the other two oxygen also reached octet configuration. So they are happy. All right, they are happy. But not nitrogen. Nitrogen is not happy because nitrogen now has 10 electron. Okay, all the period two elements cannot exceed eight outermost electrons okay because that will burst their octet configuration uh, and you know why they cannot access more than eight outermost electron because their d orbital is not vacant and energetically accessible so what we need to do right we need to convert one of these uh to a dative bond right so what i'm gonna do very simple I'm going to take away these two, right? I'm just going to take away these two and shift it to the side. All right, so in this way, I will get this lone pair on top to dative bond to oxygen. All right, so once you get the dative bond to oxygen, oxygen will still achieve its octet configuration while nitrogen can keep its valence electron within it all right so i hope this uh, is clear for you let me know if this helps 